Hello guys, so today we will discuss about designing of a multiplexer circuit or a demultiplexer circuit using VLSI design. So here in this tutorial, today we will discuss about designing a multiplexer circuit. Say suppose if it is a 2 cross 1 multiplexer using VLSI design, then how we will go for it? Okay, so that we will uh, discuss today in this particular tutorial. So, to begin with this, we have to follow certain steps what we have already discussed in earlier tutorials. How to design a combinational circuit using VLSI design. So, to begin with this, what you have to do is, we have to design the truth table of it. So, as we know, first, let me draw the block diagram of it, of a 2 is to 1 multiplexer circuit where we know that two input has to be there so these are the two input I am writing that two input as A and B so these are the data inputs and there has to be one selection input so I am suggesting this as S as a select input okay select input and multiplexer means many to one so as we know, there has to be one single output which is coming out from that particular box. So that particular single output I am denoting as Y, that is data output. Now once this block diagram is ok, now the main basic step is identify the truth table of it. So as we all know the basic logic using digital electronics, the truth table of a multiplexer is the data input. 2 cross 1 multiplexer of truth table I am drawing now. So here the select input that is nothing but this one and output should be of data output that is nothing but y. So as because only single selection input is there so how many combinations obviously we will get two combination so that is either 0 or 1. So for zero combination, one of the input data will be available at the output first slot. So here say suppose whatever the data are there available here, it may be of zero, zero, it may be of zero, one, whatever the data inputs are there, that data input which is there in fed A, so that will be available here. So I can write here A, A terminal, whatever the data is available here. Similarly for other combination, I can write here B. So as the basic principle of the truth table, we can write down y is a s bar plus b s. So once we are formalizing with the basic truth table of it, then we have to design by using VLSI technology, where we all know that we have to draw the pull up network and pull down network, where pull up network will be consisting of all PMOSes and pull down network will be all consisting of N MOSes and in between from then the inverted output should come out. This is nothing but a basic concept of a CMOS digital technology. So the same way we need to design this as here it is a end of operation is there A and S bar. So obviously A and S bar these are the two inputs but simultaneously these need to be connected in parallel in case of designing a pull up network. So I am designing the PMOS A S bar and then plus means series. So similarly what will happen here? Here B and S so B S. So this is how our pull up network and now we have to design the pull down network. So what will happen in pull down? Similarly as A dot S bar so obviously this to be connected in series. So let me draw this is first. Sorry. A is bar. This should be connected in series. Plus is operation is there that is or operation. 
so due to that operation it need to be connected in parallel the whole thing need to be connected in parallel and then b dot s so b and s so here it is b and here it is s so both are connected both nmos is connected in series now the whole thing need to be connected with pull up network okay obviously pull up network like this one it need to be connected with vdd and pull down network need to be connected with ground and as we know the inverted uh, automatic inversion is there for cmos so we need to connect one inverter so here it should be connected with a cmos inverter so cmos inverter is nothing like this one as we all know and then we can get the final output so final output is nothing but the inverted output circuit so inverted output circuit is nothing but of a multiplexer circuit uh, is as bar plus vs so this is the final output this is as bar plus vs so this is how in case of demultiplexer or decoder encoder the same way combination circuits can be easily designed by using vlsi circuits hope this tutorial help you for designing such kind of combinational circuits using vlsi technology thank you